In today's Fun with BOC Liquid Nitrogen episode, we'll be doing the Rose Crush experiment. Prior to conducting this experiment, we have consulted the Liquid Nitrogen Safety Data Sheet to determine how to handle this product safely. It is important to ensure that you are wearing PPE that at least meets the requirements of the SDS. In this case, we are wearing face shields, long-sleeved shirt and pants, insulated gloves and safety boots. We have also ensured that our workspace has adequate ventilation and participants are appropriately trained to use liquid nitrogen. Here we have a rose. Flowers have high water content, as this is required for it to survive. We will now place the flower in liquid nitrogen. As you can see, the flower has now frozen. This is because the temperature of the liquid nitrogen, which is less than minus 196 degrees Celsius, is lower than zero degrees Celsius, which is the freezing temperature of water. As the flower contains a large amount of water, the majority of the flower is now frozen. As you can see here, it is easy to crush the frozen flower. This is because the petals are very thin, making the frozen water quite brittle. We hope you enjoyed this experiment.